Juggernaut. Every once in a while, you get an offer you can't refuse. A couple of days ago, it was one of those days. Um, I got an email from Tona saying, Hey, we've got this new microphone. We think it could be a blue snowball killer. Would you like to check it out? And I said, hell yeah, absolutely. USB mic that sits on a tripod. Oh, absolutely give that a go. And here we are. This is the Tona TC777 USB condenser microphone. It's very reasonably priced on Amazon. It retails for about £40. And it is currently, at this moment in time, the best-selling microphone on Amazon. Which is incredible. That's against stiff competition from road mics higher up in the in the price um, bracket. You've got blue microphones, as we mentioned before. We've got the cheaper end of the scale. Um, but this toner, this forty-pound mic, is number one bestseller right now. Um, just just as a disclaimer, toner have sent me this review copy for free, um, but that will not sway my opinion. Um, I don't know an awful lot about sound checks and whatnot, but I do know what I like, and I do have a variety of different microphones that I can compare and contrast with, so that you get a rough feel for how it will sound in your setup. I'm gonna compare it to a XLR mic, I'm gonna compare it to my USB headset, I'm gonna compare it to a webcam, um, and so that you get basically different levels of audio quality and see where this sits in them. But without further ado, let's open this puppy, shall we? Um, I've not opened it, but let's just look at the box, first of all. So it's a very shiny black box, very simple and understated. The Toner TC777 USB condenser microphone with two years warranty. Um, we've got a company website on the side, Please note that I have opened the tabs just to make it a bit easier on camera. You've got a manufacturer's address here. So it was built in China and then imported to the UK. And here on the side here we have specifications. So it is a cardioid microphone with a sample rate of CD quality sound, 44 kilohertz. Now, a lot of mics do go a lot higher than that, but for streaming and whatnot, you're limited to um, 192 kilohertz anyway, um, so you do lose quality. 16-bit sample rate of 44 kilohertz is CD quality audio. I think that will be absolutely fine for most people's purposes that may want to use this mic. Um, it's got a good sensitivity. Um, it's got an output impedance of 680 ohm, which whatever that is. It's got a max SPL of 110 decibels, um, and it's got an SN ratio of 56 decibels, whatever the hell that means. As I say, I'm not really um, technically savvy when it comes to audio equipment. All that I do know is how it sounds, how it affects voices, and so on and so forth. So you can see it's fully European certified here, and certified by the FCC. Now. So let's open this puppy, shall we? Let's see what we've got. This is first time for me. So it's as new for me as it is for you. So inside we have a service card. We hear you with two years replacement warranty. Okay, that's good to know. We've got a instruction manual here. Apparently this is a plug and play microphone, so I'm not quite sure why we've got quite such a thick manual. Uh, I'm imagining it's for every language under the sun. Yep, and it shows you how to work the microphone in both Windows and Mac modes. So that's kind of cool. So there we go. That looks fairly straightforward. But let's get to the meat and potatoes, shall we? Here we go. So, we have one pop filter. It looks like a standard small pop filter that's a screw on. It's fairly sturdy, made of plastic. Uh, the, the, the pop filter seems like it's going to be very solid indeed and it will certainly do the job. But more importantly, let's look at the microphone itself. So it is a USB 2 microphone 
So all that we need to do is plug that bad boy into our PC or our Mac or our PlayStation 4 and we should be good to go. Now we also, for the money, remember this is £40, get the microphone itself. Now excuse me while I hold the phone as I do this. But there's the empty box, we're going to slide that to one side. And here we have our toner mic. So there we have it. So it's currently automatically installed into a mini shock mount and a tripod. So I'm just going to pop the phone down a second while I get this tripod situated. There we go. Very easy to do. Keep them one handed. Excuse the mess on the left hand side. Let's situate that a little better. We'll stretch out the tripod and there we go. There we have it, the toner microphone. Now, let's take the microphone out of the shock mount so we can get a better look. Okay, so it's a uh, baby blue, very nice, very nice indeed, very shiny, very pretty. It's got um, a foam mic protection at the top. Uh, it's also got the wire ready already installed for the pop filter so let's get the pop filter on this bad boy and then let's see how it looks all ready to go I'm actually using the microphone now uh, the microphone is my recording input so I am actually recording through this microphone as we speak now that would explain why when I turn it round the sound isn't as good because this is a cardioid mic which means it picks up more from the front of the microphone than it does around the back so this is ideal for voiceovers uh, that kind of thing but not quite so good for group podcasts uh, this cardioid style of mic isn't the option for you if that's what you want to do this is more for you staying right in front of the microphone and producing audio that way so it comes with a tripod which uh, you can use to rest this on your desktop for camera purposes I am using my arm <laughs> with the tripod so that I can get the recommended distance away from the microphone and still be on camera without me hunching back like Notre Dame um, okay so you're supposed to stay approximately that far away so you do the there's the old sickle, the hammer and sickle. You put that next to your chin, you put that up to the mic. That is the distance that you are supposed to be away from the microphone to get optimal performance from it. So, with that in mind, while we're holding the microphone, there may be a few bumps with the shock mount and what, what have you, because I'm holding it. But let's do a background noise test. Here we go. Three, two, one. And there we go. So it, you can probably hear my PC fans kicking off. My PC is directly beneath me and the fans are blowing quite hard um, because it's a warm day. Uh, so, so yes, you probably have picked up that audio, but hopefully nothing else around, which for a mic of this, this value is, is rather good. Normally you get static or, or um, a kind of buzzy feed through the USB ports uh, with cheap mics. This is a low cost mic, but it's not cheap. This seems very good for that for that regard. Now let's do a voice test to see if it picks up plosives and that kind of thing through the pop filter and how well the actual mic picks up my voice. So this is a voice test for the Toner TC777. Beep beep, bop bop, Waka waka, super color fragilistic X bialidocious pop pop. And as you can see, it gives quite a good result at the optimal distance away from the microphone. This microphone, I'm using at 90 uh, as the volume level. Um, everything else is automatically set. There's no mixer to worry about. You don't have to worry about anything at all. This is ready to go. You basically plug it in, set your input for, for your microphone, and that is it. 
you just go um, and that's what's so cool about it really because it gives a good sound with no effort no effort whatsoever I plugged it in a couple of minutes ago and here we are we're recording a test as we speak already um, so the big question is even though it's only £40 and it's cheaper than most of the competition is it as good now unfortunately I don't have a blue microphone to test with um, I never bought into the blue is best mentality of things um, I know they're popular microphones but I, I went for um, one in the past I had a blue Nessie microphone and I was very disappointed with it so I've steered clear of Nessie mics um, so I'm taking this review from the stance of of um, I'm the person that this microphone is aimed towards so I'm going to be a new streamer or a new YouTuber uh, a new podcaster uh, who doesn't have the great a great deal of equipment handy he may have a phone he may have a webcam um, and I'm, I'm thinking with that mentality and thinking of how this microphone would sit into that setup and I'm quite pleased but that's just the Toner TC777 on its own. How does it compare to other entry-level microphones? Such as things like a headset. So let's turn over from the Toner TC777 uh, to my headset now. So I'm going to turn this off. And this is the microphone through my headset this is a logitech g935 headset it's uh it's not a base entry level headset this is relatively expensive it's quite high end it's not the high end because headsets can go for crazy stupid money um but it's it's reasonably high end it's designed for gaming in mind hence the short boom arm that's retractable that is what you are hearing audio through. So let's do the same sound test as we did with the Toner TC777. This is a voice test for the Logitech G935 headset. Beep beep, bop bop, wacka wacka, super califragilistic expialidocious, pop pop. Now I'm sure you'll have already heard the main difference between the microphone for the toner and the microphone through this headset already. Um, it's a night and day difference. This is good enough for gaming. This is good enough for, for things where audio quality isn't that important as long as your voice can be heard. Um, but it is in no way, shape or form a replacement for a proper microphone so um, while this will be perfectly good as a as a my first mic if you've got no other alternative um, then yeah you could get away with it but if you've only got a headset then I would recommend you upgrade to a microphone as quick as you can and the tone out seems like it would be a good bet now if you don't even have a headset what do you do if you want to go in front of a camera, you've got your i, maybe your iPhone or your Android. Um, but if you're at your desktop, you might use your webcam. Now, I am using again a Logitech camera. I'm using the the most common webcam there is, the C920 HD. It's a great value camera. It's absolutely fantastic. The quality is pretty good. It's dirt cheap. It's smooth as silk. It uses very little PC resources. And the sound quality, well, it's it's passable. Um, but as we will see in a moment, you would not want to pair it up against the toner microphone. So let's do exa exactly that. Let's compare it to the toner. I'm going to switch over to the toner again now. Okay, so that is the toner. I'm approximately double the recommended distance a bit further than double actually the recommended distance of the microphone's usage and as you can hear it still gives a good quality bear that in mind shall we because I'm going to switch over to the webcams audio now this is the webcams audio um, it's actually clipping a little bit even though I'm not speaking very loudly so I'm just going to go and edit that a touch. I'm going to bring it down so that we have comparable fairness uh, between the toner, the, the headset, and the mic and the, the webcam mic. So 
now we should be getting a, a good performance read from the webcam. So let's do a voice test again. This is a voice test for the Logitech C920 HD webcam. Beep beep, bop bop, wacka wacka, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, pop pop. Now, I'm sure you can hear that there is a night and day difference once again between the toner mic and the webcam mic. Uh, I, I won't hurt your ears anymore. I'm going to switch over to the toner microphone now. Okay, and here we are. We are back again, and I am at optimal microphone distance. This mic is, is pretty good value for money, I must say. For £40, to have the shock mount, to have the pop filter, and a monitor stand for that kind of price... It's really, really good. It's cheaper than the blue microphones. Uh, from what I can gather, it has the, the, the same kind of decibel range as the, as the blue mics do. Um, the only thing it doesn't have that blue mics do is the name recognition. Um, Toner is a brand that I've not heard of before, admittedly. But I'm very pleased. My first impression is quite high with this microphone. Um, I like it. Um, I think I think the style of the microphone is good as well. Let me just lift up the microphone again. Here we are. So I'm um, I am using it, just resting it in front of me here, and I do like it. Um, I do like the small form factor of this microphone. I like the fact that it comes with a shock mount and everything included, and pre-prepped, ready to go. You literally. Just take it out the box and it's done. All that you do is screw on this circle bit of the pop filter and that's it. You know, um, the only downside of the microphone is that the USB connection at the bottom of the mic is hardwired in. It's not a separate cable. I would have liked to have seen that um, be a separate cable so that it would be easy to plug in longer cables without having to worry about extensions or damage. You know, these cables can get damaged. Whilst there is a two-year warranty on the microphone, I would like to just be able to swap out a simple cable if I'm in the middle of a podcast, rather than having to send my mic off, get it replaced or repaired and then brought back to me. Um, that, I suppose, comes with the manufacturing costs of something something as, as low cost and high value as this microphone. So I could live with that. So will it replace my usual microphone? Um, it will complement it, I think. It will complement it. See, I have a boom arm mic. And this is a lot more expensive than the toner microphone. Um, it's going through a, a mixer. It's an XLR mic, not USB. So it's a bit more cumbersome to set up. I've had to run it through a mixer, run it through, you know, a whole load of other things. The pop filter came separate. The boom arm came separate. And in the end, it cost three to nearly four times as much as the toner microphone. However, it does give me that element of control. I can turn how deep I want the bass to be. I can I can tweak it. I can uh, adjust individual volume. I can have live feedback through my mixer to hear exactly how the mic is doing. Um, and for me, that is the way I will keep going. However, as I said, I already have this mic. If I didn't have this mic, if I didn't have this one here then I would be looking for something like this. Absolutely. And I am so glad that Toner actually reached out to me and said, do I want to check this microphone out? Um, I think it's it's a really good bit of kit for a really good price. It's the number one bestseller on Amazon right now for a reason. Um, and I can heartily recommend splashing down 40 quid. You know, I am going to use this as a secondary mic, so when my sons and I play games on the TV behind me, I can have a remote recording location over there, rather than being tethered to my PC desk, I can bring out a tray, I can sit on the sofa, I can sit this mic right in front of my son and I, and we can have a remote camera, and we can use this as a secondary remote mic. Um, and in split games where I'm on the PC and my son's playing Xbox over there and we're playing in the same lobby, 
we can have two individual setups thanks to this mic. I can use my boom arm and he can use this one remotely on the desk over there with an extension cord from the USB. Uh, so, so yeah, I think this is a really good addition to my equipment. I think it's a really good addition to any startup streamer or or YouTuber's equipment. I think it's really good. And if you're not sure if you want to go full time into YouTube or you're not sure if you want to dabble, um, you want to step up from just using your webcam quality sound, uh, but you don't really want to commit full on into buying a 200 pound mic or something like that. This is a great start. The Toner TC777 is a great little bit of kit. Check it out. Go to the Amazon page. See the reviews for yourself. Don't just trust my word for it. There are thousands of reviews for this thing. Um, and they've all given great results. <laughs> I think it's, it's lovely. I think it's a great bit of kit. Um, again, thank you to Toner to sending this to me. Um, they did not sway my opinion on this mic in any way. I always stay true to my own opinions. As I say, I am going to be using my main mic. My main mic has a higher quality than this toner, but compared to a lot of the alternatives out there, this gives you an amazing bang for your buck. And your ears and your viewers' ears will certainly appreciate the step up from a webcam or a headset mic. Okay, so that is the end of this video. If you liked my opinion, if you like this video, please hit my sub button. Please give me a like. Share the channel around because that's the only way I can grow. Um, if you want to feel super cool, I have a Patreon, but you're not obligated to do any of that. I'm just happy that I can give you good content that you enjoy watching. That's, that's all I need. If you do want to drop a pound my way or what have you, just so that I can get it myself a... A sneaky barrel or something then by all means that's really cool of you but no don't worry about it otherwise just uh, it's there if you want to contribute if not forget it exists okay but anyway i'm rambling uh this has been the toner mic this is the sound of the toner mic and i am bidding you a very good night